I had someone ask me a great question the other day about cleaning out grease and oiling bearings for fishing reels and a lot of people that fish fresh water prefer to use oil in the bearings because it reduces the friction in the bearing even more because the bearing's not having to move through the grease which is much thicker than oil so he asked me how do you clean out the grease and what type of oil is it that I use? So what I figured I would do is just do a video about how you can clean your reel bearings and also different ways you can re-lubricate them. You can use grease or you can use oil. What you're seeing in this picture here are two different types of bearings you're likely to run across. One's called a shielded bearing, the other one's an unshielded bearing. Unshielded bearing is open, real easy to clean, it's real easy to lubricate, but it's also easy for things to get in it, uh, dirt and sand and even water. Shielded bearings, it's a little harder for foreign substances to get inside the bearing but it's harder to work on so let me show you real quick how you get the covers off of a shielded bearing what the red arrow is pointing to on this picture is the retainer ring for the covers of a shielded bearing. The retainer ring is made out of spring steel. You'll need something very small in diameter to get behind the retainer to pry it out. What I usually found works best is to use either a safety pin or a sewing needle or a push pin in order to pry the retainer ring out. And you can also use these pins then to remove the shield or the cover those can be a little tricky to get out because there's kind of a bond there between the grease and the cover but if you work with it a little bit you'll be able to get the cover off in order to access the internals of the bearing i like to take a cheap little artist brush that's got synthetic bristles in it kind of like what you would find in a kid's watercolor set and cut the bristles down where it's just a very short length left on the brush in order to make those bristles really stiff and i like to use this little brush to clean out the inside after i get done soaking it in a solvent. Also use these little short bristled brushes like this to then go back and add in grease when I'm ready to do that part. My favorite solvent for cleaning and degreasing reel bearings is naphtha and something that's a little easier to find is acetone. You can find 100% pure acetone sometimes in fingernail polish remover at grocery stores. You just want to make sure it's pure acetone. The reason I like these two solvents personally is because they dry so quickly. Naphtha takes just a little longer to dry. Acetone dries really quick. I just use one of these two solvents and I put my bearing with the solvent in a container and let it soak for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I come back with that stiff bristled brush and just clean it out and make sure that all the gunk has made its way out of the bearing and if you'll turn the bearing while you're holding the inner race on something and spin it you'll be able to hear the metal on metal contact so you know that the bearing is clean it's moving freely and all the old grease is out of it. What I like to use for my lubrication, if I'm going to oil the bearing, is I like to use Super Lube oil. If I'm using grease, I like to use Super Lube grease. The reason I like these two is because they are synthetic oils and greases. They're very clean. They last a long time. They don't break down as easily, and they don't harden over time. The Super Lube synthetic contains PTFE. Some people say don't do that. Some people say it's okay. I've never had a problem with it. Apparently, some people think it can build up over time, the PTFE, which is basically Teflon. I've never had a problem with it. I don't foresee <laughs> any problems with using Super Lube. I've never had an issue with it. It always cleans up real well if I want it off. If I want to re-lube something, I don't have any problems getting, getting things lubricated. They stay lubricated. I've had my reels get dunked and it's in wet i do not fish salt water really so i'm not sure exactly as far as salt water goes how super lube does i'm just telling you from a freshwater fisherman's perspective i don't have any problem with super lube i never have i love this stuff and a little bit of it lasts a long time it's fairly inexpensive and i use it on other things too it's it's just a good product super lube doesn't endorse me i don't get any kind of kickback from them i'm just telling you what i found that I, I feel like works better than anything else I've run across.
like pretty much anything fishing related different people have different opinions on what's better than what but as far as grease and oil and ball bearings goes i kind of have my own personal feeling is that grease is longer lasting you don't have to do as much maintenance especially in fresh water if you're in salt water you're gonna have to do maintenance regardless if you want your equipment to last if it were me if i were fishing salt water i'd go with grease if you're a freshwater fisherman and you prefer the free spinning nature of the oiled bearing then go for oil i probably wouldn't use oiled bearings in salt water environments uh, that's just the way i look at it the, the grease actually helps prevent moisture and water from getting into the bearing itself in salt water is a whole lot more corrosive so any extra protection you can get is a bonus if you're fishing fresh water and you want to oil your bearings just know that you'll probably need to re-oil them every year uh, if not sooner depending on how often you fish the, the oil will run out eventually of the, of the bearing um, at some point you'll lose most of it out of there and you'll need to just go in and add some more but there is a little reduced friction there so if you like that if that's your Thing, you can do that this video wasn't to debate the merits of one or the other i think they both have their place and people should always do what they prefer to do i was just showing how i clean my bearings and also how i go back and re-lubricate or re-grease re-oil the bearings once they are clean i hope y'all enjoyed it i hope it answered the question that i was originally asked and i hope everybody takes care tight lines